So I'm working with my friend Rachel St. Clair on an OpenCog chip, which is a new chip design that's optimized for machine reasoning and, and OpenCog based AI rather than for, for, for neural networks. And, you know, given the slowdown in the global macro economy, it's we're getting some money in for this chip project, but it's being it's being slower 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 than one would like, right? So, and then on the blockchain side, blockchain is a lot better than it than it used to be. Still, you can't put like the atomic thought processes of an pro, thought processes of an AI on chain in a blockchain. They're like each each transaction that you do in a blockchain is still too slow and expensive. I mean. Ethereum and Bitcoin are incredibly slow and expensive. We've been working with Cardano, which is faster and cheaper, but still it's like, I don't know, 10, 15 cents or something for a Cardano transaction, right? I mean, that's that's ridiculously costly, right? So now we're working on a new blockchain infrastructure called HyperCycle, which gets rid of the ledger. So it's a le- ledgerless blockchain and it's, incredibly fast but again we've got maybe 18 months of development before hypercycle is is really ready to go and then then we can have a blockchain where like the individual thought process inside an ai like a neuron firing in an ai could be could be could be on chain or if if you're in social media systems say every time you rate someone's or give a thumbs up to what someone said that can go on the blockchain then it's cheap and fast right but but all these things that are like, okay, we need another year on this. We need another 18 months on that. I mean, in the big picture of technology development, that's a tiny blip. And, you know, everything is happening all at once in a perfect storm. In terms of trying to make these things actually work, it's like, well, okay, we've got to, you know, pull in capitalization for 18 months of work on this, for for year year of work on that. And it's a, it's quite complex to put all these pieces together. Now, if if you're in a big tech company, some things are just a lot easier, right? I mean, there's a trillion dollar tech companies. There's hundreds of billions of dollars s- s- sitting in the bank that they don't know what to do with. And that they can just piece together these projects in a much more straightforward way. Building things in a decentralized ecosystem focused on open source code and and democratic networks i mean the ecosystem is more complicated and on the one hand that means you can be more agile on, on the other hand it adds a bunch of overhead to doing things too so i mean we have singularity net which is this blockchain based decentralized platform that then like hypercycle is its own company building the the, the super fast cheap blockchain infrastructure true agi is, is is its own company working on commercialization of the of the the op- open cog engine simulize its own company working on the agi chip now that's the right way to do things it, it's it's decentralized so you don't have this like monolith that tries to eat and control everything and then is sucked into the wall street logic being one big public company so i think you get you get more agility from having this decentralized ecosystem a bunch of little entities that are operating with interoperable open source code bases on, on the other hand it also creates some overhead and frustration and that you're still as well as building stuff, you're running around raising money and trying to maintain the business models of each of, each, each of these little entities in, in, in the ecosystem. So it's a, but I guess- But also the, maybe the, the, the perfect, pre-singularity maybe, maybe is the perfect key, right? Storm, maybe the perfect storm is a good metaphor because there's a lot, a lot yeah. of mess and chaos inside a storm, right? Yeah. I mean, but, a storm is not a clean and orderly process either. If this is really about who dominates the pre-singularity, we really might only be talking about two or three years. And whoever can maybe put the right pieces in place by say, I don't know, 26, 27, might really define the future of AGI, which might define the, the future of the next thousand years or forever. It's that, it's that important, right? Yeah, so you look at, like, look at like the AGI chip, assuming we managed to pull that project together, 
So you you have uh, prototype chips could be in in a nine months or a year from now, small production run maybe two years from now, instrument of factory huge production runs three years from now, right? And then 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 you can have AGI chips doing sort of graph based logic and evolutionary programming manipulations together with neural nets on server farms all over the planet much like much like you have gpus on server farms all, all, all over the planet right so this this sort of thing could catalyze emergence of singularity right so one thing one thing we're doing in hypercycle now which is our, our super fast blockchain project is we're we're talking to a whole bunch of bitcoin miners about repurposing some of the bitcoin mining infrastructure for running hypercycle uh, AI, AI nodes instead, right? And they they need different servers for that. So we're now working with them on, on how to buy like cutting edge multi GPU servers. But I mean, it's the same physical plant, it's the same cooling, it's the same power, right? So a lot of what they've done to set these Bitcoin mining rigs is not about exactly what processor you have, but it's about it's about power and, and air conditioning, right? So so we're advising them on what servers to buy and then they can run hypercycle nodes on their mining rigs in, 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 instead of ju- just just mining mining bitcoin now the next step of that a couple of years from now we'll tell them okay now you can replace these multi gpu servers we told you to buy in 2023 now it's 2025 or 6 replace them with our simuli AGI a- 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 chips right and th- then all of a sudden, all these Bitcoin mining facilities around the world are AGI chip processing farms, right? And th- then these are like the hub of the global brain running distributed AGI system, SingularityNet as the underlying OS and the OpenCog Hyperon running this AI processes on, on, on these 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 chips in, 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 in the in the mining farms. And then there's a project called NuNet, which is another singular in an ecosystem thing that can outsource some processing to people's phones and, and laptops for things that can be officially done that way. So you can you can see a way of doing things there that's off to the side of big big tech, and it's it's leveraging the crypto ecosystem in a variety of ways, including leveraging the server farms that have been built for 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 Bitcoin mining to. To, to run key parts of, of, of the, the global AI network. So Jim Rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public, and he's gonna be talking about how this upcoming recession is gonna be fast, it's gonna be bloody, it's gonna be nasty. But at the same time, he's gonna show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos. Now, we've made this video only available to our viewers. Go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim, watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. His predictions are almost uncannily true, and you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look on what's gonna happen in the future and how you can position yourself to profit from that. Jim is one of the best in the business one of my favorite guests on London Real, and he's very, very good at predicting the future and showing us all to profit from it. So click the link and I hope you enjoy. Hey, do you want to profit from crypto? Then join my DeFi Academy. The Crypto DeFi Academy will help you create generational wealth. But don't take my word for it. Listen to my students. When I first got into crypto, I remember thinking to myself, I need to learn more. Brian Rose, learning crypto, learning DeFi. Gotta do it. I am so grateful that I jumped in and did this. I had to break through some limiting beliefs that I can do this, that I can afford this, that I can be in this. It challenges um, the things that are deeply rooted within us. Joining DeFi Academy has been one of the best decisions I have made on my blockchain journey. This course was a life changer, a game changer, a huge eye opener coming from knowing practically nothing at the speed of the learning over the over four weeks was just fantastic. The information you provided in this class was invaluable. 
I feel far more confident in my next steps. We took complex concepts and made them easier to understand. What's different than so many other ones is it just doesn't tell you what to do. It uh, actually makes you do it. This is for people who are serious about becoming traders. This is the way it should be done. I realized from this learning experience again that it is not about what you learn, but about who you learn it from. The energy was insane. I've, I've never experienced such incredible energy on a live call. Brian Rose, you, you are a legend, my friend. It's the only thing in the market where you can get all information and learn everything what you need to know. Everything is so clear and so well done. And I am um, just forever grateful for this program. It made me feel so much more confident about crypto than I did before. I did not anticipate how passionate I was going to become about it. This course has been like a big learning experience for me, not just in the crypto space, but just uh, an overall uh, balance of life. What I've learned is, you know, how to take ownership, you know, of my life in a way that um, I really, I really hadn't before. Yeah, you can't put a price on that, really. I would recommend it to anybody top notch. Excellence does not come cheap. You know, so if you want excellence, you gotta pay for it, but it's so worth it. Pull the trigger. That's what this course is about. You're not gonna regret it, really. It's amazing. Thank you, Brian and team. So what are you waiting for? Crypto is happening now. Click the link below, submit your application, and let me mentor you on how to create generational wealth and build the decentralized financial infrastructure of the future.